Hey guys, Cloud Wolf here, and we're back today with another request video. And this one is from Izzy Gamer, and I have no idea why, but he wants to know how to convert a 1.9 texture pack back to a 1.8 texture pack. So I've downloaded Rex Pack. Um, I'll put the link in the description. This is just one that I want to use as an example. I don't use it, I just downloaded it after looking up resource packs, but whatever. And then I also have this download, which is going to be this link up here, which is in the description, and you click download here. It's for one of the files I have. It's 1.8 default texture pack, and it is basically the same thing as the video I did where I convert 1.8 to 1.9, except the reverse order. So we're going to open up the Rex pack, like so. We're going to open up the 1.9 default, and in the 1.9 we're going to go into, I mean 1.8, um, and you can see this has a pack.png picture, so we can look at this. Rex pack, that's cool. We can put this over here, and you're basically just moving and copying files over. So the meta's correct for this one. If you want to change the description to what he has, which is this, which is just color coded that says Rex pack Thor, you can copy this over, which actually that would look pretty cool. So we're going to copy this over. Um, let's see. Yes, okay. So, but if we choose to copy over, just delete the two and make it one and click control save. That way, yes, update the archive. So now it has pack format of one. And let's see if that's the same. Yes, they're the same. Okay. Now we're going to go into assets in Minecraft and we have all these. And we're going to go into assets in Minecraft and we have all these. So this is textures. So all you have to do is delete this textures folder, like so, which does some weird stuff over here. Uh, and then copy it over here. Then go to text, delete this text folder, and copy it over here. And this is useful for, you have to do all this for a couple things. Um, if here, I'll actually control Z. Oh, I'll just, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so if you look in, I have a new version of the um, 1.8 default. If you look in here, these are basically the same. All these are the same. Nothing really updated when they did their texture format, but do note that you can't do 3D models the same. Um, not this kind of models, which is just armor. If you look in here, those are the same as they were. But you can't do 3D models the same. They don't work the same um, as they did in 1.8. Uh, anyway, so we're going to continue with this. Uh, I, I can't remember if I deleted text before or whatever. I'll just put a new copy. Okay. And this one, you don't need shaders because there's no shaders over here, so just delete it. MC Patcher. This is where things are weird. So I don't think, I think you can just copy this over here. But this is something that the map specially has to change the sky, which is not really in Minecraft. But that's fine. I'll just copy it over and make, see if it works. It may be kind of, it may work differently in 1.9 than 1.8, but I'm pretty sure they work the same way. Um, they didn't really update too much with 1.9. CTM, default, this stuff is for glass panes, special blocks. So we can just copy this over. Hopefully it doesn't get too screwed up. But I've tried it on a different resource pack and it seemed to work just fine. But this one has some special properties to it that I don't think are uh, normal as opposed to regular ones. So I'll just delete this. This was my example. Okay, so 1.8 and call it Rex, Rex Pack. Okay, I also got a new keyboard, so if you hear all that clicking, um, I'm going to try to get a different new keyboard because it wasn't really my choice on the keyboard. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is a, uh, a new keyboard that kind of is very clicky, and I don't I don't know. I don't really like the clickiness of the keyboard, but I, I don't know what you guys think about it. If it's too annoying, I'll get a new keyboard. But uh, yeah, I just... It's just like a new keyboard because my old one I had for about like five or six years, maybe five years, around five years, five or six. But yeah, I've had it for a really long time. So anyway, we're going to go into here. Oh, don't look at anything. I'm making a new map. You can't. Okay, whatever. You already saw it anyway. I'm not going to cut that out. Oh, and I'm out of the boat. Okay, now we're going to put on the Rex pack. Where is it? Rex pack. Oh, we're in 1.9. Idiot. Yeah, I'm not I'm not remembering to do all these things because we're in like 1.9 and it's stuff. So let's go back to 1.8. This is really funny. It's like a blast from the past. I've been in the um, I've been working on the snapshot since I think since early this year. Since um, something's early this year. 
uh, I think it was test, let's name it test world, created. Um, yeah, so I've been working with 1.9 snapshots and stuff since like January when I started working on a weekend in Hartsville. Uh, actually, I worked on it in December, but no need to talk about that. Okay, so I'm not seeing it show up here. Ah, I know why. Um, for this one, since you're a, since the way I have it all packed up, you have to go into here, close it, go into here, rename it, name it 1.8 Rex Pack. It's going to update the archive and everything. It's going to look weird. It depends on what you're using. I'm using WinRAR. But anyway, so you want to click and drag it, and you want to pull this, this folder out, because right now it's a folder within a folder, a folder within a zip folder. And yeah, so I pulled that out. And uh, now if I go in here, we have the Rex pack. It's not complete though, so there we go. Okay, I can delete this 1.8 Rex pack. Oh, won't let me. Okay, so go into here and see it's colored just the same. Let's see how things look. Getting a lot of lag. Okay, so this is looking like it's correct. I don't know about the sky. So we're going to go into here. Let's just see. We have the orange wool, yellow wool. Let's just see all what... I don't know exactly what is supposed to change. I've never used this resource pack before. But yeah, that looks pretty good. A lot of the blocks have changed, but not all of them. But it could just be the resource pack itself. The lettering text has changed, which is cool. All the swords are changed, so this is starting to lead me to believe that it's correct. And the armor has changed, and the names of the armor have changed too which I think golden is diamond. They like swapped it around. But anyway, yeah, this is looking correct. And don't question why I'm wearing this skin. I will show you why I'm wearing this skin on Wednesday. I'm not allowed to release any information about what I'm doing uh, at this moment. Uh, I'll show you guys when on Wednesday. Anyway, so this resource pack looks all correct. I'm pretty sure this is the right thing. Let's summon in a zombie. Yes, okay. So all this is correct. So now we're going to quit. Quit the game, cancel, delete the Rex pack, delete this Rex pack. So you guys know how to do it now. Now, just for um, testing purposes, let's put this Rex pack in here, which is the 1.9. Open up Minecraft in 1.9. And this is kind of for my own sake because a lot of times I'll be in 1.8 and I'll accidentally open something. Uh, so good. luckily I didn't have any issues there. A lot of the times I'll have that issue and I'll open up a world. If I opened up like one of these worlds, I would be so sad because it would delete a lot of stuff and that i've worked a lot okay so now we're gonna put on the rex pack where is it rex pack 1.9 let's see what happens okay so everything looks the same as it did then like look at that everything's the same so yeah i think that downgrading a resource pack yeah see the blocks aren't all different i think downgrading a resource pack is actually more safe than upgrading a resource pack um because like a resource pack when it's upgraded because the, the 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 things that were changed make things uh simpler as opposed to more complex in the code length um but that's all i'm going to say about this guys um, if you found this video useful, leave a like or whatnot or put something in the comments. If you have any questions about other things, I'm more than willing to do it. That's kind of pretty much all I do on my channel if you're wondering. Um, I'll be doing a May update video soon uh, and also a couple other videos that I have planned. I have a lot planned, but I'm just getting back into the groove of it after last week of all that stuff I was dealing with. Um, but anyway, guys, other than that, thanks for watching um, and I'll catch you all later.